All right, let me tell you something. When I was a kid, I dreamed of living in 2020 with flying cars and chatty robots. But guess what? That never happened. Instead, we got this thing in 2024 from a company that nobody saw coming. Apple. Yeah, you heard me right. Apple. The same company that makes overpriced phones and laptops. The same company that never does anything new or exciting like Lenovo, Asus, and others. How did they pull this off? I have no idea. But I'm sure it costs a fortune. But I'm actually surprised how good this is. So, today I'm going to review the Apple Vision Pro, the first mixed reality headset from Apple. This device promises to transport you into another world where you can use your apps, enjoy entertainment, and connect with others in a spatial way. Let's see what it can do. First, let's unbox the Apple Vision Pro. Inside the box, we have the headset itself, which has a high-quality aluminum frame, a curved glass display, and a digital crown. We also have two types of headbands, a dual band loop and a solo knit loop. These are interchangeable and adjustable to fit different head sizes. We also have a battery pack, which attaches magnetically to the side of the headband and provides up to two to three hours of use. We have a 30-watt USB-C power adapter and a USB-C cable for charging. And we have a polishing cloth to keep the glass clean. The Apple Vision Pro has a modular system that allows you to swap out the light seal and the cushion for different users. The light seal is a piece of fabric that blocks out the external light and creates a comfortable fit around your face. The cushion is a piece of foam that adds some padding and absorbs sweat. You can choose from different sizes and colors of these accessories to customize your device. You can also order optional Zeiss optical lenses if you have prescription glasses. These lenses snap into the headset and correct your vision. Now, let's set up the Apple Vision Pro. To use this device, you need an iPhone or a Mac that is compatible with the Vision OS. You also need to download the Vision app on your phone or computer. This app will guide you through the setup process, which involves scanning your hands and your face to create a digital persona. This persona will represent you in the virtual world and allow you to interact with content. The Apple Vision Pro also uses a feature called Optic ID, which registers the device to one person. This means that only you can unlock and use the device with your eyes. However, there is also a guest mode that allows you to let others try the device without accessing your personal data. Next, let's calibrate the Apple Vision Pro. The device will adjust the lenses to match the distance between your eyes, which is called the interpupillary distance or IPD. This will ensure that you see a clear and sharp image. The device will also scan your hands and track your eyes to enable the input methods. The Apple Vision Pro uses pinching and looking as the main ways to select and control content. You can pinch your fingers together to tap, drag, or zoom. You can also look at an element to highlight it and then pinch to activate it. You can also use voice commands or a virtual keyboard to type and search. Now, let's explore the features of the Apple Vision Pro. The device has access to over a million apps from the App Store, which you can use in the space around you. You can arrange the apps anywhere and scale them to the perfect size, making the workspace of your dreams a reality. You can also use voice, pinch, or keyboard to type and search within the apps. You can change the environment and the transparency of the display to suit your mood and preference. You can choose from different scenes, such as a beach, a forest, or a city. You can also adjust the opacity of the display to see more or less of the real world. You can also show your eyes or content to the outside world, depending on whether you want to be more private or more social. Now, let's try some apps and games on the Apple Vision Pro. One of the coolest apps is FaceTime, which allows you to talk to other users with realistic avatars. You can see their facial expressions and body language and feel like you are in the same room with them. You can also use iMessage, Safari, Keynote, and other apps in the space and seamlessly switch between them with a glance. You can also use some immersive apps that take advantage of the device, such as DJ App, Sky Guide, Peak Visor, and others. These apps let you create music, explore the stars, or climb mountains in 3D. You can also use Apple Arcade to play games with a controller or a keyboard. You can enjoy games like Monument Valley, Alto's Odyssey, or Oceanhorn in a new way. Now, let's talk about the Vision OS and the app situation of the Apple Vision Pro. The Vision OS is Apple's first spatial operating system, which is built on the foundation of macOS, iOS, and iPadOS. It has a similar interface, but more glassy and spatial. It has some native apps that are designed for the device, such as FaceTime, Photos, and Maps. It also has some compatible apps that are just iPhone or iPad apps that run on the device. 
These apps are not optimized for the device and may not look or work as well as the native apps. However, Apple is encouraging developers to create more apps for the device and hopefully we will see more in the future. Now, let's talk about the pass-through and immersion modes of the Apple Vision Pro. The pass-through mode is the default mode which shows you the real world with the apps overlaid on it. This mode is very realistic and low latency and it feels like you are wearing glasses with a heads-up display. The immersion mode is the mode for VR which shows you virtual environments that replace the real world. This mode is for when you want to escape reality and immerse yourself in another world. You can switch between these modes with a swipe on the digital crown or a voice command. Finally, let's talk about the ecosystem and integration of the Apple Vision Pro. The device pulls all the services and data from your Apple ID and syncs with your iCloud, Apple Music, Apple TV, and other Apple services. It also connects to your Mac as a virtual display and allows you to use your Mac apps in the space. You can also use a keyboard and a trackpad to control multiple windows and apps. You can also mirror your Mac display and edit videos or photos in the space. That's it for my review of the Apple Vision Pro. This device is a revolution in progress and it offers a glimpse into the future of computing. It is not perfect and it has some limitations and drawbacks such as the weight, the battery life, the app availability, and the price but it is also a truly amazing product that delivers a futuristic eye and hand tracking interface, a breathtaking 3D video, and a truly impressive AR experience. It is also a magical way to extend your Mac and to use your apps, enjoy entertainment, and connect with others in a spatial way. If you are interested in getting one, you can order it from the Apple website or book a demo at the Apple Store. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.